Hello, my name is Gary Simmons and I'm building the Zenith 750 and I've installed the Viking 130 uh, engine and this video is about the throttle installation, uh, throttle cable installation. In order to acquire your throttle cable you can order it from Aircraft Spruce using this part number if you have a Zenith 650, 750 or cruiser. Otherwise you'll need to order the appropriate length according to your specific aircraft. Keep in mind that the routing of your throttle cable will um, go across the front of the engine from your firewall across the front and then heading back to the rear of the engine where the throttle body is. Um, some of the unique features with respect to the throttle cable, it's an A800 series friction lock and you can order it with a black handle. It has a 1032 threaded end and a notch that is located right here and that's an important part of the mounting process. Uh, you will want to go ahead and get to one quarter uh, split cable in order to protect the steel casing uh, from chafing any aspect of your motor. So install that on any uh, aspect of the cable that is coming in contact with any part of the motor. And so I'd like to begin this uh, installation video with a little introduction with respect to the cable routing. As you notice, uh, the cable exits the cabin area through the firewall and then as it begins to approach the motor, I've gone ahead and started the, um, the plastic uh, split loom, uh, split uh, cable, and uh, placed that on top of the steel casing. So I've routed it now along the engine and tied it off in a couple places to secure it as we'll continue to make its way around the front of the motor and directed towards the mounting brackets as you can see uh, down there. Okay, that's where we're headed, right to that uh, thr to the throttle body straight ahead. Okay, I'm just going to go over a few of the important uh, uh, procedures with respect to mounting the throttle cable. The first is aligning the notch in the uh, uh, and the groove, the groove on the throttle cable and the notch on the mounting bracket. That's the first important uh, step. And so slide this in and give it, okay. And you just you need to make sure that it's uh, that that groove is lined up with the slot so that there's it doesn't move from here so make sure that's very stable and then I'll go ahead and uh, replace the uh, the bolts and tighten this up and then we'll be ready for the next step in the process um, threading uh, the throttle linkage onto the cable Let's verify each step of the way as we tighten them up. Okay. All right. So now we've got the tightened up, and we'll look next at the uh, connecting it up to the throttle lever. Okay. The next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and remove um, this end from the uh, ball socket. Just use a screwdriver. Oops, can't see that. Can okay, there we go. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pop this thing off the little socket that it's in and just, uh, just use a little screwdriver and just go ahead and twist it up and it should just pop right off. Well, it did, did my practice runs. There we go. 
And then uh, once it's off the socket, you can go ahead and thread it onto the cable itself. Now, I've had to uh, shorten my uh, cable because this uh, this is uh, bottomed out with respect to adjusting it so that it's in the full throttle position with the butterfly uh, perpendicular in the, in the throttle body. And I'll explain that in just a minute. So you may have to take a little bit of the um, of this cable off and so you want to leave the bolt on just go ahead and use a Dremel and saw it off and then you can back that nut over it and it'll, the threads will be just fine. So we'll go ahead and and put this on temporarily and what we're going to do is we're going to do adjust adjust the forward or the backward position of this depending upon the position of the uh, of this part of the uh, throttle system. So while this may be full throttle, we're going to visually inspect the butterfly inside to make sure it's per perfectly perpendicular. And you'll want your cable itself to be all the way full throttle. So you go inside your cabin and push it all the way in and go ahead and lock it in place so, so that this doesn't vary at all. And then we'll locate the position of this and then wherever it's at, we'll adjust uh, our um, our screw here so that it's uh, positioned correctly. So we'll do that next. Going inside now and locking down my throttle cable. So there's no way it can push back. And also what I'm going to do before I go ahead and determine this I'm going to go back to my mounting, uh, uh, my mounting bracket, and I'm going to make sure that it's uh, in alignment. Because if I adjust this after I've positioned um, the socket, it may uh, it may bring it, uh, open it up or close it just a, a, a little bit, and so I want to avoid that if I can. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust uh, this cable or this bracket so that it is uh, tilted in such a way as it's lining up um, this section of the cable uh, more completely as opposed to it having a slight bend in it. So that's what I want to avoid. And I'll do that next. Okay, there's a, uh, a nut down at the bottom of this uh, mounting bracket, and you just loosen that up, and then get your aviation water pliers as you need them, and we're going to just rotate this bracket, tilt it forward or towards the back of the motor, so that this uh, the cable is more aligned with the actual travel of the throttle cable. So I'm going to get this in position and I'll hold it there while I tighten up the lock washer on this particular bolt. Okay, that's got that. Okay, now in order to visually inspect the butterfly within the uh, throttle body itself, I'm going to have to move, remove the, um, this right angle connector and the air filter so I can get a visual on that butterfly. So I'll remove this. And of course it's hard to see from this angle, so I'm going to place this mirror in this position here there we go and now it's much easier for us to get the idea of what's needed here and so let me just zoom in a bit and so as you can see the butterfly inside the throttle body and as I um, as I move the lever one way or the other so this is uh, this is full closed and as I open it up I want it to be just full throttle, just perpendicular as opposed to it being not quite open 
or too far, which tends to begin to diminish the airflow. And so I locate the position where I want to set the full throttle. And since I've already extended the cable uh, full throttle all the way and I've locked it in place, now my effort is just simply to align the ball joint with the throttle cable. So we'll do that next. So I've determined that this is the ideal position for my uh, full throttle extension of the cable. And so now it's a matter of aligning, keep it steady, aligning this, ball, uh, this socket with the ball joint here, with the ball right there. And so hopefully you're able to see this. So that's pretty close to where I need it to be, right there. So I'll just lock that in place and then I'll tighten up my lock nut. And so as, as you can see the position right here and as I visually inspect it, I'm noticing that so it looks like it's pretty accurate. All right, and now I'm just going to uh, uh, unlock the cable, the throttle cable, and work it back and forth. Make sure I'm coming all the way back against my stop, which I am, and then extend it all the way forward. I just want to make sure I've gotten the full length of the circuit working and making sure that my full throttle position has everything perpendicular. So I can see that I might have just a little bit more room to um, let it out just a little bit so that refines uh, my adjustment. So I'm going to do that now. First I'll just pop this off again. And I'm going to just back this off just a little bit. I'm going to set this right there and verify my position again. Oh, yeah, that looks much better. And then I'll go ahead and snap that back on. And I'll verify my position. And it all looks good. I'll move the throttle up and back, recheck my full throttle opening, and it looks pretty good. And then I'll tighten that locks, lock nut as a final step in this particular aspect of the installation process. Okay. Now I'll replace, uh, put back on my, um, my connector for my air filter. I'll tighten that up. And then I'll secure the uh, throttle cable uh, and make sure there's uh, any uh, strain is relieved in the process. Okay, and now I'm just verifying once more that the uh, throttle cable itself has the full uh, action of the throttle body circuit. And just verifying that everything's smooth and just uh, going over the whole cable uh, length, uh, its routing uh, with the split cable, uh, attaching it to the motor in, in various places in order to secure the cable. I will later on uh, fasten it more securely to perhaps uh, this uh, loom right here. This is my um, fuel line so I want to leave that uh, open for now because my first start might require me disconnecting that to let the, uh, the fuel flow through it properly. And then now following the throttle linkage all the way down the straight shot to the throttle body itself. So it looks like uh, we're complete with this. I hope this makes your throttle installation just a bit easier. Have a great day.